All right, so I'm going on to the AdWords account. And like I said, today it's going to be about display advertisement. Earlier we have covered how do we go ahead and get started with search. Just doing a small recap, when we created across a search campaign, we understood how do we get started with creating an AdWords account. Every AdWords account has got a unique 10 digit ID, we understood the other day. And in the account level, which is level number one, we enter across details like the billing details, the currency, the time zone and so forth. We understood we can never change, we cannot change that. Once we've got the AdWords account set up, it all starts with campaign, which is level two, we understood. Level three consists of ad groups, right? And level four consists of ads and keywords, all right? When we look at AdWords account altogether, we are not able to judge, you know, uh, what's the hierarchy because they all are coming at the same, uh, in, a, in the same sequence, right? They all are appearing in the same sequence, but there is a hierarchy. When we started with campaign creation, we got several settings. Do you remember some of the settings which were there at the campaign level? Can you name some of those? Kya ke settings thi? Campaign level. Pe. Sorry? What all settings were there? So when we started creating a campaign, what all settings did Google AdWords ask us? Kya ke settings thi? Standards, all features. Standards, all features, absolutely. That was one thing. Location, Location absolutely. Device, Device absolutely. Language, absolutely. Bid, Bid absolutely. Then absolutely. Scheduling. Sorry? Scheduling, Scheduling, absolutely. Right. Absolutely. You know everything. You remember everything. Great. So you'll see clear. The AdWords. <laughs> <laughs> Certification. All right. So this time, uh, all those settings which we are talking about in the search, are more or less, they're going to be same in the uh, display also. The way we'll start is we'll click on to plus campaign. Instead of search now this time, we will be going ahead with display. Like I said, campaign level pay, the settings are same, more or less. The only thing which you will find across different is a couple of things in the campaign level. And then at the ad group level, definitely things are going to be different. In the search, when we went to the ad group level, what were the things which were, which were there? Well, there were things like putting in across, uh, you know, bid and also keywords and so forth. And also creation of the ads. The creation of the ads in the search campaign already right, have the creation here, I think. Ad was not being created. Okay, I don't remember. Ad in the search is always a text ad, right? It's more or less a text ad. Whereas in the display campaign, it's a different one, banner image and so forth. One. Even a text ad or a video ad can appear, but it will not appear on a search engine result page. If you remember, right? In a search ad, the search ad is always shown across on a search engine, right? Which is Google. If somebody types in across a certain search query, whatever it may be, the search results, the search campaigns comes over here, the search text, right? But whereas if we talk about display one, display one comes up here, comes up uh, onto any third party website. We spoke about this the other day. Today we'll work on how do we create these display campaigns the banner ads and so forth on any different website. So let's say on NDTV I want, on Nokri.com I want, my ads, my banner ads to come across over here. Like Urban Ladder has also got on the right hand side and this another one, segment has also got. So we'll create these banner ads and we'll also select where can we show our banner ads, all right? Targeting options of display we have covered across like, I think last to last, uh, I mean last week in the, in the Saturday session, right? So we will see that part uh, practically, theoretically we have covered. I'm going back to the AdWords account. All right, here we go. Clicking on to plus new campaign, then display network only. What is the Google display network? Let me ask you, what do you remember about Google display network? We spoke about it the other day. Google display network is a term used for what all? Google Display Network consists of all those websites which have got themselves subscribed to Google AdSense. Google AdSense, what is it? Google AdSense is a website, kind of publisher. Mm -hmm. First publisher, second AdSense, right. third, advertiser. Advertiser, who is a third party. 
वेबसाइट में अपना एड दिखाना चाहते हैं वो एडवर्टाइजर गूगल एडसेंस के थ्रू उनकी वेबसाइट में एब्सोल्युटली एब्सोल्युटली राइट याद है इट्स अ मीडियम बिटवीन द एडवर्टाइजर एंड द पब्लिशर 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 राइट एब्सोल्युटली सो वी विल स्टार्ट विद दिस द डिस्प्ले नेटवर्क in the very first thing in the very first uh, option when we start with the display ad it always asks for marketing objectives we have display network selected and over here the marketing objectives there are several marketing objectives which google will ask us ki aap kya karna chahte ho aap sirf uh, end users ko people who are your potential customers do you just want them to see your ad do you want them to engage with your content they want do you want them to visit your website or you want sales to be tracked let's say we want more calls to your business or let's say we want form fill up kind of a thing on your website so you can select any one of these or do you want mobile installation mobile app installation and so forth banner ad wohi hoga but wo aapka jo marketing objective hai wo aapko sabse pehle select karna hai okay so what i'll do i'll take a cross example of uh, same knowledge wood website Which we have been taken across, taking across so forth. So, let's say I'm trying to promote across one of my courses, which is the digital marketing course. And this is my, let's say, landing page. And on this landing page, I want people to come and submit their details. All right, this is my marketing objective. मेरे को leads चाहिए. Leads as in form fillups. I'm copying this URL. Of this is my landing page. I'm going back to Google AdWords. I have selected that I want people to take an action on my website, which is fill out a form. All right. We all remember the advertiser and the publisher concept. Now we are an advertiser, which is knowledge wood, and we are taking help of Google in order to showcase our ads to be shown on publishers' website. And as we understood, Google Display Network consists of All the websites, all those websites which are uh, which have subscribed themselves to Google AdSense, publishers' का जो group होता है, publishers की websites का, like NDTV is one. Then there are several other publisher websites, like NDTV. There are thousands of other websites which want to earn money, right? That was Google Display Network. We have selected the marketing goal. We are going further down. If you have, all right. So now, if you have created a campaign before, any paid campaign, paid display campaign before, you can copy their settings and implement it over here. But this is the very first campaign. This will copy here. Will be. But there, that option is always there. Now, campaign name. Let's say I put in a cross as display campaign for our digital marketing course. That's my campaign name. Now location part, whatever we understood in the search campaign, it's all same over here. All right. So let's try to search. Let's do a radius targeting over here. This is something which we did yesterday also, right? It's just being a bit faster, so I'm placing it across anywhere. This is just for understanding purpose, right? I have placed this in my bubble place, and then I can do a radius targeting, which is let's say 10 kilometer radius from the center point which I have selected. We did this the other day. I've clicked on added, and then clicking on do done. Look, since it's a local business, I need I know people will come from the nearby areas. Location. We have we have covered it similar. 
language is also similar bid strategy it's manual which we have covered the other day budget also it's not a new concept so let's say my budget is 150 rupees per day all right now add extensions we have understood yesterday that what location and call extensions are now there are only two extensions which are visible over here yesterday when we were working on the add extension there were several which all were there like site Cycling, absolutely. What snippet? Snippet, absolutely. Call out, okay. call out, absolutely. What else? Mm -hmm. Review, absolutely. But we don't have absolutely apps also. But we don't have all those over here. The reason is because uh, the text ad, the text ad which is shown across on third-party websites, will not carry a call button, will not carry an app button, will not carry all those other things. Yeah, we do have location and call one. They will only come if we will have a text ad being shown onto these third party websites. If I'll create a banner ad, banner ad, it will not come. Extension will not come. Okay. I'm not going ahead with these two because I, I don't find them to be more quite effective. In search ads, they are pretty much effective. Going further down, there are additional settings. Delivery method, do you guys remember? What does delivery method mean? Standard and expected. What are these two? What is the difference like? Do you guys remember? Standard is it will be evenly, uh, right. the amount will be evenly distributed by running the campaign. Absolutely, right. And, uh, and if I select the accelerated, my overall budget. budget will be exhausted pretty fast. I'm going with standard. See, everything is same over here. Most of the things which you can see, budget, bit, strategy, language, location, most of them are same. It's only going to be the creation of the ad and the targeting of the ad which will be changing. Scheduling and starting, scheduling date and uh, start date and all that, that's also the same, right? It's going to be good difference here. I want to start my ad, let's say from today itself. I want to uh, do it till 31st of March. I want to get this done. Strange, this is not working. All right, so I want the ad to run across only till March 31st. I can schedule my ad that on Monday, from this much time to this much time, from Tuesday, this much time to this much time, I can set all that across. All right, so just for the understanding purpose, I'm taking Wednesday and from 2 a.m. till 8 p.m., let's say that's the time I want to go ahead. Now comes in the other option, guys, which is ad delivery, ad rotation, frequency capping. Now, ad rotation, guys, there is only one option which is available for us. I told you, I think, yesterday that we uh, work across an optimization of our ads from our side, but we also give across uh, instruction to Google AdWords to optimize our advertisement. Now, optimize for clicks and optimize for conversions are two major things, okay? Now, optimize for conversion option is not enabled right now. It will only enable when we will have this conversion set up. Yesterday, we saw how the conversion is being set up, right? Conversion tracking code comes in thank you page. And before we tell the definition of conversion. And we also tell that if there are three orders in one order, then we count three conversion counts or one conversion count. We understood that the other day. All right. So, this is one option. Now, we can optimize for click. We can optimize for click. All right. So, this is one option. We can optimize for click. Or let's say there are two other options, which is rotate evenly and so forth. Now my ad can be shown, uh, you know, in a in different uh, what do you say bits and pieces. If I want that, this one is not recommended. These ones rotating evenly and indef indefinitely. You either go for optimize for click or optimize for conversion. And conversion one will only come like I said when you have set up conversions. Your ad has run for let's say a few uh, for for a certain period of time. The overall data has come in, few conversions have come in, then only this option will be enabled. All right, as it says, you have to set up conversion tracking. You're moving further. Now, frequency track capping is pretty important or pretty exciting uh, feature. What it does is it gives across opportunity to us to go ahead and restrict our ad to be shown across to a certain individual to a certain number of times. What it means is, let's say, uh, you guys must have uh, experienced this, I think, somewhere or the other, that a part, one particular advertiser tries to show its ad to you n number of times in a day, again and again in the morning, afternoon, evening. What does it happen? 
यू गेट इरिटेटेड राइट यूजली यू गेट इरिटेटेड दैट क्या है मेरे को बाय नहीं करना मेरे को क्यों बार बार एड दिखा रहे हो वट इज हैपनिंग वन इज दैट दी कस्टमर इज गेटिंग इरिटेटेड दी एडवर्टाइजर इज स्पेंडिंग मोर मनी सो इट्स ऑल लॉस ओवरऑल लॉस इक्वेशन so if that's the reason why there is frequency gapping what it says ki if you want to restrict the number of times your ad to be shown across to a particular individual you can do that so let's say only five times an ad should be shown to one single person five viewable impression per day in one day for the overall ads which are there in a particular campaign you can restrict so i can put it five i can put it 50 i can put it two whatever number of times i want it this will make sure that even if you have a higher budget even if you have good amount of budget this particular feature will ensure that one person is not getting irritated by seeing your ad multiple times in a day bas panch bar use ad dikhega ek din ke andar aur usse zyada nahi dikhega main isko per day ki jagah per week per month bhi kar sakta hu make sense this is just for that purpose all right now this is a new feature digital content label uh, this is all about uh, you know selecting across uh, what do you say audience which you feel uh, when you, you know if you have got content which is uh, let's say related to audience with parental guidance something which is uh, not uh, supposed to be shown to teens you can exclude that all right there is some certain content like that some content which is uh, you know not to be shown across or to mature audience and so forth now this is i haven't tried this i i'll i have to read more about it what is this this is a new feature basically then comes in a great feature within display ad guys that's called the device targeting if you remember the device targeting in search was not editable right we were not able to click on to what all different devices do i want to show my ad over here in display it is i want to show ad only to people who are using tablets i can do that only those people who are using mobile i can do that or only those people using computer mobile or computer mobile tablet and so forth i can do that another option is operating system now from the operating system also i can go ahead and make choices let's say i want to show my ad only to those people who use across uh, you know ios uh, operating system or blackberry operating system or windows phone and so forth i can select that also even from the versions point of view i can make a choice that which version of ios now who all really get benefited out of it let's say i am samsung okay i know that uh, people who are using across ios are my potential audience let's go ahead and show my ads only to those people who are using apple phones and uh, they will be the primary target for showing my ads so i can use ios in that case if i am samsung this is very important a, a great feature for me now other than operating system we have got the device models also i can select even from the android ios and so forth various different uh you know these pro what do you say mobile phone manufacturers their names are over here so if i want to show my ad only to those people using samsung i can select that i can select various other ones all right similarly for ios i can select people who are using across a particular iphone a particular ipad or a particular ipod touch let's say underneath iphone i want to show my ads only to those people who are using iphone 7 and iphone 7 plus right again this is like uh, samsung can target people who are using iphone or iphone can target people using samsung this is one of the example right so operating system is one operating system is the inbuilt a system right in these overall phones and so forth or the laptops or so forth other devices similarly over here from the device perspective which all particular tablet which all particular phone do you want to select you can select that then the third feature which comes across is the wifi and the courier is the internet service provider now i have selected in the location settings it was one of the it was uh, one of the place within india only which was noida right so that's why i'll go ahead and see underneath india over here all right so 
people who are using only airtel uh, internet or people using only idea internet they will only get to see my ad ab is ye kitna acha hai ki let's say reliance wants to reliance jio wants to uh, give across their banner ads and they know that people who are already using reliance let's not show them the ad because they wo to mere already customer hai main unko customer banaunga na jo already airtel idea mere competitor ko kar rahe hain so unke liye bahut bahut hi acha feature hai so this is another great targeting which google actually detects that and then provides a cross advertisement to them right now this is just for the purpose of understanding i am not selecting any of these right now i'm selecting all of the above all right then these are advanced feature dynamic and campaign url so let's not focus more on them as of now we'll click ahead and click on to save and continue now as you can see the bid over here is not was not asked at the campaign level in the search option in the in the search campaign the bid was asked across in the campaign settings only but we as we all know bid is always put in across either at the ad group level or at a keyword level right over here there is no concept of keyword there is a, a concept of a, a website a website my where my ad will be shown right so i will put across first of all a default bid on the uh, ad group level let's say my default bid, bid which i want to put in across is 10 indian rupees and my ad group name let's say i'm putting it across as ad group 1 and my landing page was that knowledge wood page and here it goes or as you can see it's were running and there would be certain ideas all right right this was not there earlier the moment i have typed in across the landing page these ideas thing came in extra because the entire web page google actually scanned the content google saw what all content is there on this web page on the basis of that google is now going to give me ideas that what sort of websites do you you should go ahead and show your uh, particular banner ads and so forth so these are the targeting options ab mera ad kahan kahan pe show hoga mere ko nahi pata before i go ahead with this i'll want to i would like to show you a tool guys that's called display planner this is based on this only keyword planner we have already seen right keyword planner we used across during our seo stuff right now we are starting with and that that is also to be used across when we are running search campaign also keyword planner is going to be used as that display planner is primarily used across for these display campaign only this display uh, ads right i am select or right, so ye se abhi pause karte hain yahan pe we'll come back to this i'm going back to this display tool now over here it says that if you want to get across ideas you know targeting ideas that on which sort of a website uh, you should go ahead and show your ads and so forth you can get ideas over here or what sort of display keywords you should put in so select on to this and it says enter the keywords topics or site let's say my overall product is digital marketing course that's the overall topic my landing page is this all right and i want to target across so this is the location basically let's say i want to target across people who are residing across in noida or the nearby areas and so forth i can do advanced search also the way we do it right the map thing the radius targeting i'm clicking on to noida and uh, cbc billing english all those things can be same and uh, click on to get placement ideas all right you can do you get ad group ideas also both of them will give you the same kind of stuff click on to get placement ideas i'll just tell you so placement topics are the different uh, targeting options placement means website yaad hai ki humne jab ek bari bola tha ki hum jab display mein target karte hain there are two ways one is through uh letting google know that the websites on the kind of websites on which my ad should appear that is one way either we focus on the kind of websites or we focus on the kind of people whom we want to show our ads the interest interest right so topics is basically the interest and placement is basically the websites that's what so ya to main aise select kar lu ya fir main aise select kar lu 
or I can select both of them also. I can placement is basically the website. Placement means the website and topics means the overall the interest of the audience basically, right? Now these are various different uh, options or uh, suggestions which Google is giving us. Now it, it's saying that you know in order to promote across your digital marketing course, you can uh, your, your landing page you can put it across your banner on this website which is courses.ind.in. Your yes, are just websites and these all websites are part of the Google Display Network, right? Internet Google Adsense पे register किया हुआ है अपनी website पे space offer करा हुआ है offer करा हुआ है Google को बोला है कि please जाओ ये मेरा website पे space sell करके आओ और मेरे अपना commission भी लो और मेरे को भी पैसा दो पर click पे right the concept we understood the other day so ये सारी वही website आ रही हैं मेरे को यहाँ से बहुत सारा material मिल गया मैं ऐसी ऐसी websites मेरे पास options हैं I can go ahead and open across all these websites and check you know whether they are good for my business or not for knowledge words let's say I click on to study guide India I can go on to study guide India and personally check whether it is a great website even on shiksha.com do you think was you know going on to shiksha.com will help our banner ad and so forth or if this is study guide India So as you can see, there are banner ads uh, over here on the, all right, so there's already an ad, which is, so this is, this is a space like which is being sold by Study Guide India in their homepage to Google. How do you know that any banner ad will Study Guide India or any website directly put it or offer Google to offer it or Google has done it? It's through this particular tab which says ad choices. If it says ad choices, it means uh, Study Guide India, this website has approached Google through AdSense and this particular portion, this particular uh, you know, uh, advertisement on the right hand side which does have this tab ad choices, only this portion is being offered through Google AdSense. Every banner ad is not part of uh, Google AdSense. Study Guide India must have gone to Google and must have said that I want to offer across space on my website. I want to sell that across, but not every single banner which you're seeing over here has been sold through the Google AdSense mechanism. You must have visited this uh, person maybe and then asked for the... Yeah, that directly. So directly, VLS University and all those, they all have paid directly to Study Guide. Either this is one option, directly or through the Google ad uh, AdSense or there are various ad networks which are available. Google ka apna display network hai, aisi bhoat sare alag ad networks bhi apna kaam karte hai. So info links and all that are various other websites. So I mean this is one example which I am giving you. As you can see Publishers can come and uh, you know sign up like uh, they want to earn money, just like AdSense may. And then advertisers can come and utilize their network, Infolinks network. So I said, "Bahut sare." So these are all ad networks, nothing else. Right? It says why like publishers. Google will also help us in Absolutely. getting ad, uh, ads advertised, making websites. That's what it is. I'm sorry, we come like up with Google. Uh huh. Will also help us to suggest different websites. Right, it will suggest different websites, but only those websites which are part of their network. अगर उनके साथ उन्हें tie up ही नहीं करा किसी website ने तो फिर वो दिखाई नहीं सकते. So they are doing the same role which Google is doing, and there are several thousands of ad networks which are there in the market. But why we study Google? Google is because Google has got the biggest ad network. Google has got the biggest ad network. All right, so we were on the display tool. We saw that there are several websites which have been recommended. Now, 
either the sites i can even look at mobile apps also i can show my ads on various mobile apps also so it's a sarkari naukri and so forth do you want to show your ads on this so ye sara relevancy uh, basis pe hai google has seen my website since i gave across you know landing page to them and google is suggesting that you should offer across the audience which you should target across google is also letting us know people who are in between 25 to 34 age group the most 40% male is something which they are suggesting and from the device so these suggestions are there google is saying more or less people will look into your uh, stuff more from the mobile tab, mobile device and more of males and more of in during this particular in within this age group now as you can see unknown is another one which is highest uh they you know when google is actually uh, finding out the data and looking at what people are searching certain intervals they are not able to judge uh what's the age group and what's the gender of them because wo apne google account mein us time sign in nahi hote hain ye data to tab aata hai jab hum kisi account mein let's say i am i was giving an example the other day that i am logged into my google account i am going through internet here and there and google is picking up that maine ye ye khola tha mera ye ye interest tha and but mai mail hu mera age group ye hai right so agar let's say i am not logged in if if i am not logged into my google account and i am still going uh, on to google and then searching around my age is not known my gender is not known so that sort of audience is clubbed under unknown basically this is just a suggestion okay major thing which we have to really concentrate let's not get confused major thing which you have to concentrate is these websites which google is has given us and we can look into all of these websites and so forth another thing which you can see is ad formats ad formats mein bahut sare tarike ke ads hote hain ek video ad bhi ho gaya uh, rectangular ad square shape ad you know bigger size and smaller size all of these options so it says text ads can be there on this we want to so these two various uh, banner ads which this much size is also allowed and square shape and rectangular shape these these sizes are also allowed the other one skyscraper ek image ad hota hai that's not allowed mobile ad is not allowed and video ad is not allowed on these now this is up to you as an advertiser what kind of ad format you will create abhi tak humne ad format create nahi kiya abhi hum sirf targeting options pe hain right targeting is what we are working on right now once we will be done with the targeting then only the ad creation part will come in make sense questions ट्रैफिक तो नहीं पता चल पाएगा बट एलेक्सा से थोड़ा सा उनकी नॉलेज मिल पाएगी ट्रैफिक पता करने हमारे को ज्यादा मैटर करेगा नहीं क्योंकि अगर कोई सी वेबसाइट पे पे तो हम उस ट्रैफिक ही नहीं है है ठीक बिकॉज हमारा जो मेन फोकस होना चाहिए हमारा मेन फोकस होना चाहिए रेलिवेंसी पे लेट से मैंने रेलिवेंसी के बेसिस मैंने मैंने पचास वेबसाइट मैंने सिलेक्ट uh, कर ली अब आप कहते हो रेलिवेंसी के बाद मैं देखूं कि इसमें से कौन कौन सी हैं जिन पे ट्रैफिक आ रहा है जिन पे ट्रैफिक नहीं आ रहा है नहीं आएगा ट्रैफिक तो मेरे को पेमेंट नहीं मिले पेमेंट नहीं देनी पड़ेगी राइट आई हैव टू मेक श्योर दैट एवरी वेबसाइट व्हिच आई सिलेक्ट फॉर मेकिंग माय ऐड शोन ऑन देम इज द रेलिवेंसी पार्ट अगर मेरा नॉलेज वुड का डिजिटल मार्केटिंग कोर्स का वेब पेज मेरे को प्रमोट करना है और उसके लिए मैं बैनर ऐड डाल रहा हूं मैंने 50 वेबसाइट मैंने शॉर्टलिस्ट करी है पचास की पचास ऐसी होनी चाहिए जो मेरे को लगता है कि मेरी पोटेंशियल ऑडियंस विजिट करती है वहां पे मेरी पोटेंशियल ऑडियंस विजिट करती है पचास पे अगर मैंने वो फाइंड आउट कर लिया माय जॉब इज डन नाउ इन टर्म्स ऑफ द ट्रैफिक डेफिनेटली देयर वुड बी सम ऑन द हायर साइड सम वुड बी ऑन द लोअर साइड एंड सम माइट नॉट हैव ट्रैफिक एट ऑल वो हमें पता चलता रहेगा जैसे जैसे हम अपना एड रन करेंगे जैसे जैसे एड रन करेंगे नॉट एवरी वेबसाइट विल शो केस ऑल दो फिफ्टी वेबसाइट विच आई सिलेक्ट not every website will give me good amount of impressions which you are saying i might go ahead and uh, you know pause for that particular usse kya hoga ki waise to kuch farak padi nahi raha impressions hi nahi aa rahe hain to mera na to ctr ghat raha hai na mere ko mere ko par 
क्लिक को ही प्राइस देना पड़ रहा है मेरा ना सी अगर घट रहा होता कि इंप्रेशन आए जा रहे हैं आए जा रहे हैं बट क्लिक नहीं हो रहा है वेबसाइट इतनी बेकार है तब मेरा क्वालिटी स्कोर डाउन होता है और मेरा एड नहीं शो करता इतना ज्यादा बट जब मेरे को ट्रैफिक ही नहीं है तो हार्डली मैटर्स पचास के मैं पांच सौ डाल लू पांच सौ में से पांच ही मेरी वर्क करें और रेलिवेंसी पार्ट की कितना रेलिवेंट है आपके बिजनेस से दीज ऑल वेबसाइट सो दिस मच दिस वन इज वे टू मच एंड सो फोर्ट नाउ ओवर हेयर देर आर ऑलमोस्ट क्लोज टू फोर नाइनटी फोर वेबसाइट फोर नाइनटी फोर वेबसाइट विच आर बी सजेस्टेड और यहां से मेरे को जब इनपुट मिल गया है मेरे को ये करना चाहिए फ्रॉम द प्लेसमेंट परस्पेक्टिव टारगेटिंग आई गेट अक्रॉस इनपुट फ्रॉम द टॉपिक्स इन ट्रस्ट एंड द डिस्प्ले की वर्ड ऑप्शन ऑल्सो नाउ देर इज वन वे ऑफ टारगेटिंग इधर आई पुट इन प्लेसमेंट जो मेरे को डिस्प्ले पैनल टूल ने बता दिया या फिर मैं प्लेसमेंट नहीं करता मेरे को वेबसाइट लेट से नहीं पता करनी किस पे मेरे को दिखाना है आई वॉन्ट टू टारगेट अ ग्रुप ऑफ वेबसाइट ऑन द बेस ऑफ द कंटेंट दे है ओके कीवर्ड्स पे मैं जाता हूं सो डिजिटल मार्केटिंग कोर्स अगर मैं कीवर्ड टाइप करूंगा अपने गूगल एडवर्ड्स पैनल पे देर विल बी अ लॉर्ड ऑफ वेबसाइट विच विल हैव कंटेंट रिलेटेड टू डिजिटल मार्केटिंग कोर्स राइट ना गूगल इज सजेस्टिंग मी अदर देन डिजिटल मार्केटिंग कोर्स यू कैन इवन टाइप इन डिस्प्ले की डिजिटल मार्केटिंग कोर्सेज डिजिटल मार्केटिंग कोर्सेज मास्टर डिग्री कोर्सेज मास्टर डिग्री ऑनलाइन प्रोग्राम This is what Google is suggesting. Now it's up to us whether we want to add these keywords or not. ये हम keywords जब type करेंगे तो और जो सारी websites Google Display Network के part में हैं, उसमें से extract होंगी वो वाले web pages जिसमें content related to digital marketing course है. So Google Display Network में NDTV type वाली website भी है, जैसे कुछ home cook home cooking के ऊपर है, कोई networking के ऊपर है, finance के ऊपर है. कोई शॉपिंग वेबसाइट्स हैं अब सारी वेबसाइट्स के ऊपर तो दिखाएगा नहीं आज वी हैव गिवन अक्रॉस वन इनपुट टू गूगल दैट ऑल दो वेबसाइट विच आर पार्ट ऑफ गूगल डिस्प्ले नेटवर्क एंड हैज गॉट कंटेंट रिलेटेड टू दिस की वर्ड कॉल्ड डिजिटल मार्केटिंग कोर्स लेट्स पुल ऑल ऑफ देम अब लेट्स से थाउजेंड वेबसाइट है गूगल डिस्प्ले नेटवर्क में थाउजेंड में से फिफ्टी ऐसी जिनके पास कंटेंट डिजिटल मार्केटिंग कोर्स रिलेटेड है उन डिजिटल मार्केटिंग कोर्स रिलेटेड वेबसाइट पर ही हमारा एड दिखेगा या तो हमें वेबसाइट के नाम पता हो वो हम प्लेसमेंट में जाएंगे या अगर हमें नाम नहीं पता तो हम कंटेंट रिलेटेड बेसिस पे अपना एड प्लेस करेंगे Now, let's say, हम कीवर्ड्स के बेसिस पे कंटेंट रिलेटेड बेसिस पे भी नहीं करते वी गो हेड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ व्हाट पीपल आर फाइंडिंग अक्रॉस व्हाट सॉर्ट ऑफ पीपल इंटरेस्ट डू दे है इन एजुकेशन पीपल हुआ बिजनेस प्रोफेशनल वी कैन गो एड एंड टारगेट दैम so on the basis of audience basically right we talked about the other day people who have got interest in sales and marketing job people who have got interest in business education advertising and marketing i can go ahead and select them relevancy google is showing aap in in ko kar sakte ho ye ye relevant hai green ones are the majorly uh, optimum one which google is suggesting that you can go for people in these interest area then comes in the topics Topics are also very similar to the interest. People who have got interest uh, in all these topics, basically, college, universities, job listings, education, and so forth. Right? Placements we understood. Demographics is the same thing which we understood. Like uh, what's the age, gender, and the device part. All right. Remarketing is different. Remarketing is uh, only created, only happens when we have run across. Uh, I mean, people have come on to our website and then we want to show our ads. इसमें तो वो ऑप्शन ही नहीं है कि वेबसाइट कौन सी वेबसाइट पे दिखाना है या कौन से इंटरेस्ट लेवल पे दिखाना है राइट जो जो मेरी वेबसाइट पे आएगा उस उसको मेरा एड दिखेगा चाहे वो कोई सी भी वेबसाइट पे जाए बट वो वेबसाइट गूगल डिस्प्ले नेटवर्क का पार्ट होना चाहिए राइट रीमार्केटिंग विल सी लेटर ऑन बट लेट्स ट्राई टू फोकस ऑन दिस वन पार्ट फर्स्ट आई गो बैक टू माई डिस्प्ले कैंपेन I'll select display keywords. Display keywords. Let's say I select that websites. I select websites which have got content related to let's say digital marketing online training, digital marketing strategy training. Let's say digital marketing strategy course, search engine marketing course. I go ahead and put in across certain keywords which I feel. are relevant and uh, 
websites in this websites which have got content related to this keyword my ad will be placed on them now google is letting us know that what's number of impressions can you really get weekly impressions can you get from the websites which have got content related to these keywords 1 million to 1.5 million impressions now this is not at all restricted to the budget and so forth मतलब बजट लच्चे आपका अनलिमिटेड है बेड आपका क्या है क्या नहीं है वो सारी चीज नहीं देख रहा गूगल आपको वही ट्रैफिक वाली चीज बता रहा है कि इतना मैक्सिमम आपको मिल सकता है सेवरल वेबसाइट्स विद दिस मच अमाउंट ऑफ कंटेंट दिस दिस काइंड ऑफ इंप्रेशन यू कैन गेट नाउ दिस इज फ्रॉम द की वर्ड परस्पेक्टिव देन कम्स इन इंटरेस्ट एंड रीमार्केटिंग नाउ इन दिस in the interest section there are audience parts affinity audience and in market audience are the two major ones for same every topic and interest here nothing else let's say i want to show my ads to people who are business professionals i want to show my ads to people who are mobile let's say mobile enthusiast or and social media enthusiast now i feel these are the kind of people who will probably go ahead and uh, check in uh, you know the i mean they would be more interested with my digital marketing course kind of thing now similarly in market audience is another one i can go ahead and put in across more things like sales and marketing jobs advertising and marketing services people who are interested in let's say or is it these two are the ones which i feel are going to be more relevant okay a fir se mere ko bata diye weekly impressions 10 billion plus is what you can really expect and so forth i go ahead and further click on to narrow my targeting and other tag display keywords topics display keywords we have already done topics is another one all right it's one in the similar one basically All right. What you can see over here, there are two circles. Two circles. One is the topic one, and the other one is the interest and remarketing. Now, in this, there are so many audience, so many impressions. Can be. In this, there are so many impressions. Can be. The so, major impression is uh, common one. That we will get. Because we have selected some audience on the topics ke basis. Pe select kar liye. Kuch particular impressions we have buy on the interest and remarketing ke basis. Pe. जो हमने दोनों इंप्रेशन बाय करे हैं उसमें से जो कॉमन वाला है उसी पे ऐड दिखेगा टोटल पे नहीं दिखेगा ओके नाउ आई गो फर्दर डाउन एंड क्लिक ऑन नैरो माय टारगेटिंग फर्दर डिस्प्ले कीवर्ड्स वी हैव ऑलरेडी डन placements also we can do now let's say uh, if i am not going ahead with display keywords i'm not going ahead with topics and user interest i can select and i can type in the websites directly let's say i want to show my ads on naukri i can check whether naukri.com is part of the google display network or not ya to hame wo display planet tool se pata chal jata right ya fir hame yahan se bhi pata chal jayega it's showing that on naukri.com you can show your ad so what is this the brand naukri.in naukri.com apply.naukri.com job search.naukri my.naukri login.naukri these are the various internal pages of naukri.com where my ad can be shown right now it's not recommended to actually use placements and all the other options together usme kya hoga hamara jo number of impressions hai wo kam hota jayega aur bahut hi mutual wala kam hi option rahega either i select this or either i select those right so abhi main ye nahi le raha because we have taken the other one but usually what i do is i don't select topics interest i go for placements when i am pretty choosy about where do i want to show my show my ad ab ye bhi bahut thoda expensive affair hai ye waisi hai jaise exact match mein tha exact match bilkul sara kaam hume google adwords karke de raha tha right yahan pe bhi google adwords sara kaam karke de raha hai instead of typing interest and topics and then finding out कौन सी वेबसाइट काम कर रही है कौन सी नहीं कर रही है मार्केटिंग 
क्योंकि रिपोर्टिंग में आ जाएगा कौन कौन सी वेबसाइट पे आपका एड शो करें मैं यहाँ पे जाके सिर्फ और सिर्फ वही वेबसाइट टाइप करूंगा जो मेरे को चाहिए और वो उसका प्राइस पर क्लिक अप थोड़ा ज्यादा होगा इस केस में बट गूगल मेरा काम काफी आसान कर देगा इस केस में placement i am not going ahead with and the last one is the demographic demographic i told you it's either the gender age or parental status okay in this case let's say i know that people who are going to be more uh, interested in my stuff is in between 18 to 44 and male female unknown both all right all of them similarly age would be this and unknown also and there is nothing no parental status over here going further clicking on do so you can uh, let this option be conservative only as of now this is the same thing uh, like i mean you want to go ahead and uh, do that aggressively that uh, standard and the accelerated one now comes the part of creation of the ad now the thing is you might say that banner ad creation ke liye to mere ko koi designer hire karna padega jo mere liye ek banner banaye इतने बाय इतने साइज का इतने बाय इतने साइज का बट गूगल मेक्स इट इजियर फॉर अस इन दिस ऑप्शन व्हेन इट कम्स डाउन टू क्रिएटिंग एन एड यू हैव दिस ऑप्शन व्हिच इज कॉल्ड व्यू ऐड आइडियाज क्लिक ऑन टू व्यू ऐड आइडियाज व्हाट इज दिस व्यू ऐड आइडियाज and the url the landing page url is mentioned over here and i can type in across my headline which i want in my banner ad to be there let's say digital marketing training is my headline and any specific description all right whatever description you want to type in and ek button hoga button pe aap kya label dena chahte ho let's say call us now all right so this is the overall details which you want to give the text which you want on the banner ads to be there now click on to show me ideas now the uh, entire landing page is getting scanned by google google is scanning across your entire landing page scan karne ke baad ab sare uh, scanning karne ke baad this is the entire uh, what do you say these are the various designs which google is offering i can go ahead and change them across as per my own wish all right i can edit them these are various design options which google is giving us so i don't need a designer or a developer to really help me out with this let's say i want to use across this now you might say ye to sirf ek square shape ka design hai but what about the other shapes you know rectangular figure and so forth i can click on to preview sample ad sizes and this is giving me all the options like a square shape one a rectangular this one and so forth right it's letting me know make sense all right clicking on do okay and let's say i have selected this Let's say I have selected this. Now I can once I have selected this, I can even go ahead and edit the overall stuff if I wish to. And not just one of them can be editable, and all of those would be it would be applicable to each one of them. वो वाला कॉन्सेप्ट अगर मैं चाहता हूँ वो भी हो सकता है या फिर मैं हर एक पैनर आर्ट को सेपरेटली एडिट करना चाहता हूँ. I can do that. So this is a separate one. This is a separate one. All of these separately, I can go ahead and edit. i can change the description for this one i can change its headline i can change the the logo as of now there is no logo for this one i can change the overall image which is there the background image the button label in what color and even the url also if i want to change all right so this is the overall way through which i can get my ad to be selected and also edited across and then once you have done all this you go ahead and click on to save and go to billing also if you want to enter the billing and your ad will start up and running make sense so this is the ad guys this is been selected and you go ahead and click on to save 
पड़े थे दिस हैज बीन सेव्ड आई बिलीव ओप्स नथिंग इट्स सम प्रॉब्लम वन सेकंड कुछ तो इशू आ रहा है नहीं नहीं उसके वो तो मैंने वो नहीं दिया ना बिलिंग डिटेल्स स्टिल वो होना चाहिए ये कुछ कंटेंट वगैरह जो है थोड़ा लंबा आ रहा है शायद दैट वुड बी ट्रबल यार प्लीज सिस्टम So there is some error over here. Just try to check. So I think text is much more larger than. what it can come for all the ad size All right. So, what your option? What your travel time? There was this content which is longer. So that's been done, and we can go ahead and create more ad groups this way and so forth. And then we can set up conversion tracking and so forth, right? So this is to do with the display campaign, guys. Let's take a tea break, and then after that, we'll start with the video one. All right. All right, so YouTube video network is this, and YouTube search network is this, and the display network is this. Had it been, uh, let's say, not a banner ad, there could be a video ad. So these are the three options in the network section. Now, location, as we are already aware of, how do we do that? So I'm not paying more focus on that. Let's say I'm going for India total. Languages, we already know about that. Mobile and tablet options, we are already aware of that, right? We can do that. We can select. Uh, What all operating system? Which all different uh, devices? Which all different internet providers and so forth? Now there is another thing which Google is giving us uh, one more option over here in the video network is increasing the bid. Let's say I want to increase my bid specifically for a particular device. 
मैंने जो बिट करी है लेट से टेन रुपीज करी है हमें टेन रुपीज से मोर देन दैट विच इज ट्वेल्व रुपीज थर्टीन रुपीज आई वॉन्ट टू पुट इन अक्रॉस फॉर मोबाइल मेरा डिफॉल्ट बिट टेन रुपीज है वो डिफॉल्ट बिट टेन रुपीज जब मैं पुट इन करूंगा तो मोबाइल टैबलेट कंप्यूटर सबके लिए वो टेन रुपीज ही रहेगी बट फॉर अ स्पेसिफिक डिवाइस इफ आई एम प्रिटी मच लेट से श्योर दैट माई ऑडियंस विल गेट कन्वर्टेड मोर देन आई कैन इंक्रीज माई बिट यहां पर मैं बिड इंक्रीज करूंगा तो मेरा एड जल्दी जल्दी दिखेगा सर्च में क्या होता है मेरा बिड अगर इंक्रीज होता है तो मेरा एड रैंक इंक्रीज करने का पूरा प्रॉबिबिलिटी इंक्रीज हो जाता है बट ओवर हेयर द प्रॉबिबिलिटी विच विल इंक्रीज ओवर हेयर विद द इंक्रीज इन बिड इज दी नंबर ऑफ टाइम्स माई एड विल बी शोन आई ऑलवेज हैव कॉम्पिटिशन विद माई अदर पीपल हु ऑल्सो वॉन्ट्स टू शो एड्स ऑन द सेम प्लेटफॉर्म फिर आई वॉन्ट टू शो डिस्प्ले में और वीडियो में अगर हम बिड इंक्रीज करते हैं तो एड रैंक तो इंक्रीज होती नहीं है यहाँ पे एड रैंक तो का तो फंडा ही नहीं है कि फर्स्ट सेकंड थर्ड फोर्थ वो तो सर्च में ही था यहाँ पे जो फंडा है अगर हम बिड इंक्रीज करते हैं तो हमारे चांसेस पहले आने के ज्यादा हो जाते हैं यहाँ पे तो यूट्यूब बिड ज्यादा डाला तो फिर जो हमारा एड है वो ज्यादा लोगों को दिखेगा दैट्स दी ओनली थिंग so i can go ahead and increase my bid let's say by 10% for mobile and for other ones i don't want to increase my bid at all i can do that all right what's going to happen is my bid was 10 indian rupees for an example or it's a bid abhi ad group level pe aayega 10 indian rupees hai to wo yahan pe 10% more ho jayega which is 11 rupees this would be 10 rupees only this would be 10 rupees only ad scheduling is the same option which we have already studied all right and the ad delivery option has got us the frequency capping same option which you remember that these many number of times i want to show my ads per day for a which are part of a particular campaign yahan pe ek aur cheez hai views views ki definition maine abhi aapko deni hai views aur impressions mein farak hai views ka of views ka jo definition hai wo 30 seconds wala hai impression to jaise hi ekdum se ad dikh gaya na waise hi ek impression count ho jata hai theek hai ab main आपको वो बताता हूँ व्यूज का जो वो यू से काउंटिंग है कैसे होता है सेकंड सो देयर इज दिस प्राइसिंग रूल कॉल थर्टी सेकंड रूल नाउ लेट्स से सिनारियो व्हेन यू एज एन एडवर्टाइजर हैज पुट इन अक्रॉस अ वीडियो व्हिच इज फॉर थर्टी फाइव सेकेंड आपका वीडियो एड थर्टी फाइव सेकेंड का और राइट नाउ वीडियो एड लेट से समबडी योर वीडियो एड इज इज बीइंग वॉच्ड अक्रॉस फॉर 25 सेकंड्स आई टोल्ड यू दैट 25 सेकंड्स पे किसी ने वॉच करो और स्किप कर दिया नॉट इवन अ सिंगल पेनी यू विल पे ऑल राइट दिस इज नो कॉस्ट एंड देयर इज नो व्यू बीइंग काउंटेड व्यू की भी डेफिनेशन यहां पे 30 सेकंड्स वाली है बट इंप्रेशन इज देयर राइट एंड न्यू व्यू बट दिस इज एब्सोल्युटली गोना बी वन इंप्रेशन इज देयर Impression gets counted automatically. It's been seen. Just I mean within a mini second. Now let's say another scenario in this. In this scenario, on another option, another state is video ad is let's say watched for 29 seconds. 30 second वाला rule चल रहा है अभी और 35 seconds के आपके video है. इसमें भी no cost. Six seconds पे भी let's say किया है. तो from zero to from one second to 29 seconds में कभी भी ads की होता है. There is no cost. Isn't that great? 29 seconds तक कोई आपका ad देखी जा रहा है, देखी जा रहा है, skip करता है और फिर आप तो free advertising. Now let's say video ad is watched across for either 30 seconds or for 31 seconds. There is a cost per view. One view will be counted across. All right. So view की यहाँ पे definition पता चल रही है. Right. Similarly, let's say take a scenario two in this 30 second. Now let's say that 30 second rule I told you, but तब क्या था हमारे scenario one में? था ही वीडियो जो 35 फाइव सेकेंड्स का लेट्स आप वीडियो जो है थर्टी सेकंड से कम का ट्वेंटी एट सेकेंड्स में इस ऑप्शन में क्या होता है लेट्स योर वीडियो इज वीडियो इज एड इज वॉच फॉर ट्वेंटी फाइव सेकेंड लेट्स तीन सेकेंड लेस एंड देन इट्स केप्ड देन देर इज नो कॉस्ट अगेन लेट्स इज वॉच लाइक ट्वेंटी सेवन सेकेंड्स एक सेकेंड लेसर है देन अगेन नो कॉस्ट बट इफ इट्स बीन वॉच द फुल देन देर इज गोइंट बी कॉस्ट फॉर व्यू गाइज और राइट थर्टी सेकेंड से लेस है तो तभी पैसा लगेगा जब पूरा पूरा उसको वीडियो को देखा जाएगा मेक सेंस और राइट और राइट सो दिस इज वन ऑफ द ट्रू व्यू एड्स एंड वी गोना वर्क ऑन दिस सो फ्रीक्वेंसी कैपिंग में वी कैन इवन डिसाइड ऑन द व्यूज बेसिस हाउ मेनी व्यूज आई वांट टू शो अक्रॉस टू अ पर्टिकुलर पर्सन इन अ डे 
usually we try to keep it across from the impression so i can do it from this also let like two times two views per day per person for all the ads which are part of this campaign i can do that all right but this is a new thing content ex exclusion if i want to uh, go ahead and uh, not show my content to teens or mature audience and so forth i can exclude them and so forth if it's a, a that kind of content i'm going ahead and clicking on to save and continue this is the in stream or video discovery ad there is some problem what is it हाँ जी सेशन एक्सपायर हो गया हाँ जी हाँ सब लाइव हो जाएगा इंटरनेट इंटरनेट स्लो चल रहा मेरे इसको तो All right, and I have to create right hand for me. all right so after the campaign stuff is done here comes in the uh, other screen which is the ad group one after campaign it's always been ad group right so this is ad group number 1 now i have to enter across my 
YouTube video URL. So my video ad, we ha we have to make sure that it's uploaded across onto YouTube for sure. My video ad, ऐसे ना करके, ऐसे नहीं डाल सकता. I have to first of all upload it onto a YouTube channel on YouTube basically, and then get it done. So let's take across any specific video. Which we will be using it across as a video ad. All right. So, do we have any videos? Facing. ये हमारी है डिजिटल मार्केटिंग स्नैपशॉट हाय आई एम रेडी टू फॉर नॉलेज ऑफ डिजिटल मार्केटिंग कोर्स स्नैपशॉट अ वन ऑफ इट्स टाइम हैंड्स ऑन कोच दैट प्रिपेयर्स यू फॉर अ करियर ऑल राइट सो वी वी लेट्स टेक दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो एंड ट्राई टू अपलोड इट अक्रॉस राइट ओवर All right, so there are two ninety nine videos. It's uh, views. It's been shown across. Now over here, we are starting with first the in stream ad. In stream ad as in the skippable ad only. All right. As we saw that there were two options. I mean, there were two things: in stream and video discovery. And the other one was the uh, the bulk or the, the one which will come on to later. In the first one, there were two internal things: in stream and video discovery. We are going with in stream first. Now, in stream one is that skippable option thing which I was showing you. Now, I also told you that the with the in stream, it's always a third party website. I mean, a third party page other than the YouTube page. So, इसमें हम क्या करेंगे अपनी website का URL ले लेंगे, which is let's say this one. All right, so I'm taking this one and I'm uploading it right over here in the final URL section. I'll upload this URL. Final URL is the landing page url now what is it that i want to show a display url the same concept which we had earlier also there is this character limit also over here i think it's 35 characters yeah it's 35 characters so i also told the other day right a display url can be a page Which is which might not be present on your website, right? It's just for the purpose of showcasing it, right? Did we talk about this, right? So I've got this display URL. This will be shown over here. The moment somebody will click onto this, this page, which is the final URL, will open up. All right. Now companion banner. I also I was showing you. This is the companion banner. जो वो जियोनी का दिखा रहा था. Where is that? This is the companion banner, right? This is something either it can be created on its own, or we can go ahead and create it by ourselves and upload it. So both options are there. So this companion banner, which is right over here, I can upload it on my own. All right, I can choose the file. The overall dimensions are also given that three hundred and three hundred by sixty pixels and so forth, and the maximum file size can be one fifty kilobytes. either i can do it this uh, uh, do this by you know uploading it by creating it and then uploading it or i can choose across an auto generated image what will happen with auto generated image automatically out of this entire video there would be some snapshots which youtube will take and will put them across on its own in the companion banner section auto generate ho jayega all right now this is something which i am going with companion banner as auto generated ad name is video ad one let's say my video ad will be shown across on the youtube channels on the youtube videos like this and also on third party websites like this before the actual video gets played before those actual videos my video ad will be now kis kis video ke pehle ad aayega wo bhi main abhi choose kar paunga now bidding i told you it's the cpv basis right cost per view now it's giving me across a certain uh, 
you know, suggestion that 67 paisa to 3 rupees 34. That's I'm giving for us a bid of 3 rupees per view. And also, Google says that if you think you're, you know, you have more budget, you have more money to pay other than your default bid, more money in a scenario when your video is getting played before some popular videos. Now, Google has got its own definition of what videos are popular and what videos are not on the basis of views and so forth. Now, I say that 3 rupees to mera vaise bid hai, but I can increase to let's say 20% more. 20% of this would be whatever, right, maybe. So, 3 rupees 60 paisa it will become total. Instead of 3 rupees, my bid can be 3 rupees 60 paisa. In this case, if my bid is more than definitely more number of times my video ad will be shown across. That's my bidding, which I've entered. Now comes in the targeting, guys. In the targeting, you have, first of all, the demographics section, where you can define who's your gender target and who's your age target and parental status and so forth. That's how I'm going with all of these and just not going with these options. All right, so that was one targeting and now I can narrow down my targeting further. Now, as you see, all those same stuff guys are over here, which we saw in the display ads. Right in the display ads, we saw putting across the display keywords, putting across the placements. So I'm not, you know, see, uh, understanding all of those. I'm not going into the depth of all of those. They all work in the same fashion. Just going in the placement section. Placement may let's say I type in digital marketing. And all those different YouTube channel and YouTube videos will come over here on which I can go ahead and see my video ad in before. All right. So all these like these different one digital marketing strategy with David rock and mail digital marketing, you know, all these. So even I can show my video ad before this, this, and this what's happening with this in this scenario is whenever a video ad will be played when a video, sorry, actual video of these people will be played. Our video ad will come before that, right? I can choose across the channels. Now these are channels. I can even choose specific videos. Now these specific videos will be played on Gina. So pehle meri video aegi. Make sense. Right? Five seconds skippable wala option. Mera yaha pe aega. Meri video play hogi in ki video se pehle. Now a bhoti badiya cheez hai. YouTube channel pe agar hum jayen to Digital Vidya, which is one of our competitors, my competitor ki actual video play on this film, my video will come. As soon as you know, you can block it with AdSense. Because it's all the earnings from the AdSense. It's monetized with ads that we did. It's AdSense. In AdSense, there's an option to block a particular advertiser who can show banner ads on my video. I can now add it. My competitor ki video ko dekh raha usse pehle, मेरी मेरी वीडियो देखेगा, so I can select all of this, even I can select the websites on which my banner my this video ad can come over here, right? Plus the mobile apps too, Google Play Store and the other one the Apple Store and so forth. Makes sense. I can go ahead and do that. Click on to done and so forth. And then click on to save as ad group. Now this is the in streaming ads. I can do the part of the part too. Digital display keywords or interest option too. If I don't know which type of 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 And the last thing is I can connect my YouTube account. So Knowledgewood if I have a username and password and I have a link in Google account. I can link them both to link them. लिंक करने से मेरे को और अच्छा रिजल्ट इन टर्म्स ऑफ मेट्रिसेस मिल जाएंगे जो मैं मेजर कर सकता हूं अपने उसके आज की परफॉर्मेंस को मेक सेंस देन गो एंड एंड क्लिक ऑन टू फिनिश नाउ दिस इज वन पार्ट दिस इज वन पार्ट ऑफ वीडियो एड लेट्स लुक एट द 
other part, which is the discovery one. All right, so this was ad group number one. I'll click on create a new ad group. All right, so actually that is at the campaign level. So ad group create is a file here. It has to be a new campaign basically. So no ad group, it has to be a new campaign to get that part done. So we need to go to the campaign, select across video once again. And this would be, let's say video campaign number two. This is standard and I can take settings from an existing campaign, let's say the same campaign. This time I'm choosing in-stream or video discovery because in-stream we saw, but video discovery we are yet to see and bumper ads we are yet to see. Video discovery being the other one, bidding amount, budget, automatically again because I have done load settings. Right, all the networks have done. Location is also done. Devices, language is also done. I'm being quick and clicking on to save and continue. The only thing which is going to be different over here is the uh, formation of the ad, basically. Wo in stream tha, in stream mein wo skippable ad hitar aara tha, dousri videos ke upar. Now, I have to enter across the URL of the video ad. It's this one. This is my YouTube video ad. Now this time instead of in stream, we will select a video discovery ad. Now video discovery ad is that same, which I was telling you. Jo search bar ke baad aata hai. Jo search bar mein which type of baad aata hai, which I'm not a fan of. There is a reason because यहाँ पे हम ना कीवर्ड सिलेक्ट नहीं कर पाएंगे किस कीवर्ड के अगेंस्ट मेरा ये ऐड आना चाहिए गूगल और यूट्यूब वट एवर यू नो कॉल दैट दे बोथ आर सेम कंपनी यूट्यूब विल एक्चुअली सिलेक्ट ऑन इट्स ओन यूट्यूब विल सिलेक्ट कि कौन से कीवर्ड पे आपका ऐड आना चाहिए अब वो आप देख ही लोग काम क्या कर रहे हैं तो डिजिटल मार्केटिंग डाला और ओपो मोबाइल फोन दिखा रहे हैं सो आई आई डोंट प्रेफर दिस वन यहाँ पे हेडलाइन डिस्क्रिप्शन लाइन वन डिस्क्रिप्शन लाइन टू वी कैन एंटर अक्रॉस ऑन आर ओन all right, so headline is allowed for 100 characters. All right, so I've got some headline, description line one and description line two. Now, in the discovery ad, not just the ad which will come up across in the search bar, in the search results, that's not the only one. Plus, it will come as an option of related in the related video section also. If you are watching any video on YouTube, on the right hand side, options are there, uh, what do you say, related videos. Ke. Right, related videos are there. Usme add symbol aata hai ek minute. Let me just see if I have an example for this. This one. So let's say a particular video is getting played. Or uske baad side mein ek add aata hai. I mean related videos aata hai. Related videos mein hi ek video hai. Jo add as, a, as an add aara hai. So aapka ye jo... Uh, Discovery ad था जो हमने create करा Discovery ad में आपने heading दे दी title दे दिया description दे दी description line one description line two और आपने thumbnail भी select कर लिया these are various different uh, screen grabs taken across from the entire video alright इसमें से कोई से भी screen grab दे दिया अब या तो वो दिखेगा आपका ऐसा इसमें YouTube search results में या फिर related video section में related video section का तो मैंने आपको दिखाई दिया Right, it comes like this. So this is second option of in-stream, which is the related. The third option of in-stream is the overlay ad, which is the banner ad basically. 
banner ad, something like this. This is called overlay ad, right? An overlay ad basically. Overlay or the banner ads. This is a true view video discovery ad only. Makes sense? The first section is chal raha abhi. Theek hai? In stream and the video discovery. And video discovery ke andar bhi char, char sections hai. Right? On the partner websites also, your ad can come in like this. On partner sections like come in any third party website, whether it's a newspaper website or a, any other, uh, let's say student uh, thing, which we were seeing across, it's a student guide India and so forth. Okay, so this thing is there. Now my ad can come across on all of these one after another. And what is the bid I want to put in across? I can mention the bid right over here. Popular one is also I've told you that if I want to increase my bid for certain popular websites, then targeting options also I have told you already, right? So this is a repeat. I can go ahead and save the ad group. Now this brings us, I mean, this is uh, in stream with the video discovery. That part is being done, right? In stream with the video discovery. Any questions so far? Clear? Right? The overall consumption of this content will become much more stronger when you guys will do it. Alright, I cannot use Google, right? Get certified. All right, finished. So that brings us to the end of one section of video ads and the other remaining section of video. Let's create that. I'm clicking on to plus new campaign and then video. All right, again. All right, so I'm going on to the video section, the video network again, creating across a new campaign again. And this is, that's a video campaign, number three. And again, this is a standard. I can load settings from existing video campaign again. Now this time, in, instead of using in-stream, in-stream was that five seconds capable. Video discovery was that overlay ad, was also the related ads and in, in the related video ads. Plus it was uh, what all in the search option, in the related videos, in the overlay and also in the third party websites. Those were the four options in video discovery. Video discovery had four options. In stream had one option. Now we come on to bumper ads, which is a new feature basically. This is a six second video ads. Now the six second video ad can come in at uh, several places. Let's see. Now bidding process for the uh, bumper ads guys is not based on CPV, it's called CPM, which is cost per thousand impressions. M stands for impressions. I know impressions starts with I, I M P, but over here Google says that thousand times your ad is being seen, we will charge you a particular amount. Let's say 10 rupees. So 10 rupees tab charge when thousand bari aapka ad dikhega. Impression aega, right? So here the CPC uh, bidding is not cost per click bidding, bhi nahi hai. cost per view wali bhi bidding. Nahi hai. View ka definition was 30 second rule. Tha. 30 second or agar 30 seconds se less, then maximum will be. Here there are 1000 impressions. 1000 times your ad will be seen, there is going to be a particular price which Google will charge you. Or right, Google will charge you. Then comes in your budget, per day budget. And what all networks? Well, this one which is the bare, basic what is this called the uh, bumper ad the bumper ad is shown across only on either on youtube videos or video partners it's not shown on youtube search bumper ads are not shown on youtube search all right youtube search i hope you remember that was when you type in across something on youtube search engine then it comes in all right location is india i'm just moving further fast again not selecting all these things again language is this uh, device targeting I'm not doing and advanced setting with schedule uh, and ad delivery also I'm not doing we have covered this clicking on to save and continue
और एक मिनट भी हम और दिक्कत दे रहे हैं इंटरनेट था एड ग्रुप नंबर वन इन द कैंपेन नंबर थ्री कैंपेन नंबर थ्री में एड ग्रुप नंबर वन है वीडियो एड अगेन आई पोस्ट इन द सेम यू आर एल ऑफ दैट वीडियो विच वी वर टेकिंग ओके नाउ दिस वन टेक द ओनली वीडियो एड विच इज गोइंग बी एक्सेप्टेड इन दिस केस इज समथिंग विच इज सिक्स सेकेंड ऑल लेस लेट्स ट्राई टू सी देर इज समथिंग ओवर हेयर इन गूगल डिजिटल मार्केटिंग सिक्स सेकेंड वीडियो सेवन सेकेंड की आ गई है हाँ वो अपलोड कर दो आप उसे अपलोड कर दो गिफ्ट गिफ्ट टाइप के एनिमेशन को कर दो और सिक्स सेकेंड यहाँ पे खरी है कुछ और बेकार ही फनी वीडियो आ गई है बट वी कैन यूज एनी ऑफ दीज जस्ट टू चेक जस्ट टू सी हाउ दिस रेली वर्क अक्रॉस सिक्स सेकेंड वीडियो इज अनादर वन इज दिस I hope these are all okay to go with. Strange videos, I thought. I think I can go with this one. So, video content is not a concern right now. We have understood that a six-second video only should be. I'm taking the URL for this one because Google will not accept any video which is more than six second. I've got the URL mentioned. Now this six-second video ad is going to be shown across on YouTube on partner websites, and it says your bumper ads placed before, during, and even after another video. In streaming, me kya tha? Before, before ka concept tha. Before, before ka concept tha. Yahan pe in between, which is during any particular video, after the video is also being done. Puri ek video run kar dethi. Uske baad aapka six second ka video run karega. अब ये कम दिख रहा है नॉट मेनी पीपल आर यूजिंग इट और राइट दिस कैन बी इधर ऑन यूट्यूब और ऑन द गूगल डिस्प्ले नेटवर्क द थर्ड पार्टी वेबसाइट डिपेंडिंग अपॉन वट नेटवर्क सेटिंग यूर टेकिंग द वीडियो एड इज सिक्स सेकेंड और लेस एंड व्यूअर्स इन दिस केस डू नॉट गेट अक्रॉस एन ऑप्शन ऑफ स्कीपिंग दी एड स्कीपिंग एड फंक्शनिटी इसमें नहीं है छह सेकेंड ये चलेगा ही चलेगा यू पे अक्रॉस ओवर हेयर ऑन द बेस ऑफ द इम्प्रेशन थाउजेंड टाइम्स योर वीडियो विल बी सीन There would be a particular price which you will pay. All right. Now let's say the final URL is this. All right. Now companion banner. Do you want to upload it on your own? Will it get? Will it come on its own? Okay. I'm clicking on to user auto generated. Use auto generated. This is my ad name. My bidding is. Let's say two hundred Indian rupees. For two hundred Indian rupees, I will be able to showcase my discovery ad, my video discovery ad for one thousand times because it's cost per thousand. All right. It's also giving me a suggestion that you will get four thousand extra impression if you will increase your bid. Right. Whatever bid I have entered, it's asking me to increase the bid and get across four thousand extra impressions. Do I want to increase my bid by any particular percentage for popular videos? Let's say I do twenty percent, and then same targeting options. Same targeting options are over here, and that's it. Same ad group. In this, we will select any videos we want to go to placement. In that, it will show in before, in between, and in the middle. And that's it. This brings us to the end of video ads. Also, now let's see the next slide. 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 Right, video discovery ads and so forth. Questions? So, to, uh, now next Saturday we'll start with mobile marketing. Okay. Any further questions you have before we wrap up for today?
or it's a do mail me across that part uh, please your google account right username and password i'll give you the coupons i have told you what the google partners thing through which you can go ahead and study and give the examination i'll try to get you i'll try to get across certifications and coupon both plus uh bing ads if you want to see let me see if i've got an account with bing ads right now which is working what were the three things which i told you to uh, remind me one was google certification, certification. right and the third one was editor tool editor tool right internet the agenda now here is this editor tool editor tool which i have actually downloaded onto my system you guys can actually also go ahead and uh, download this just type in across google adwords editor isse kya hoga aap google adwords pe uh, offline bhi kaam kar sakte ho internet connected nahi hai बट अभी आप कुछ भी चेंजेस करोगे ना कैंपेन पे इस टूल पे इंटरनेट कनेक्ट नहीं है वो वहीं पे सेव हो जाएगा बट जैसे इंटरनेट कनेक्ट होगा ना वो फिर ऑनलाइन भी सिंक हो जाएगा सो दिस इज वन ग्रेट फीचर प्लस जब आपका एडवर्ड्स अकाउंट काफी बड़ा हो जाता है इट बिकम्स ह्यूज बिकॉज ऑफ मल्टीपल कैंपेन एंड सो फोर्थ तब एडवर्ड एडिटर बहुत काम आता है उसका इंटरफेस काफी अच्छा है दैट्स इट और कोई बात नहीं है ये एक टूल है जो गूगल खुद देता है All right, so here is the URL where you can go ahead and download this across. Your campaigns will be shown across. You can manage your ads onto AdWords Editor. You can upload whatever changes you want, and so forth. I let me just show you with mine. Now this is my AdWords account. My AdWords account being shown into the editor. these are the various so this is my mcc account basically all right uske andar individual bahut sare accounts hai sare individual accounts hai main kisi ek ke andar jaake unke sare campaigns dekh sakta hu let's say i'm going on to this particular one okay i have to sign in paste it there please copy this code switch to your application and acha ye ra mera tarika hai ye All right. It's saying, do you want to download everything for one account or all the campaigns? I want to do for all the campaigns. All right. It's still working.
somehow internet is working slow guys all right i'm just moving on to bing hands bing hands mein ek bahut acha feature hai abhi jo aap log hain mere isme chal nahi raha you guys try uh, open bingads.microsoft.com aur usme uh, aap import kar sakte ho apne jitne bhi aapka google adwords mein aapne campaign banaye hain i'll just be back in two minutes अब नाम तो रहे ये उसको बोलते हैं ना सीटीआर को ही बोलते हैं सीटीआर का यूजर नाम है दूसरा नाम मैं देख रहा हूं edge working way to slow you you got the option yes okay. try to sign up yeah bings.microsoft.com right bingads.microsoft right the first one yes haan ji fir open ho gaya okay. acha dikkat de raha koi nahi इधर भी स्लो चलता है ये अभी इस पर ज्यादा होने लगी ये जब से इंदुपाल क्लास ले रहा हूं तब से कितने रोड लगे हैं किसने नहीं जो खैर इसमें कुछ दिखाने वाला है नहीं आई मीन द पैनल व्हिच वी हैव इन गूगल सिमिलरली वही पैनल यहां पर है वही कैंपेन जाएगा ऐड ग्रुप आएगा अकाउंट आएगा ऐड एक्सटेंशन आएगा वो सब कुछ सेम आएगा जो जो हमने टैब्स बिल्कुल वो उसका क्लोन है बिल्कुल कॉपी है बिग एड्स ये माइक्रोसॉफ्ट ये माइक्रोसॉफ्ट वो गूगल का है और इस पे जो आप ऐड बनाओगे वो bing.com पे दिखेगा इस पे जो ऐड बना रहे हो वो google.com पे गूगल का नेटवर्क ज्यादा बड़ा है गूगल ने सर्च इंजिन यूज है सब यू इन यूएस इट्स लाइक एटीन नाइनटीन परसेंट उसका शेयर है बट सेवेंटी एट सेवेंटी नाइन परसेंट गूगल यूरोप में यूएस में थोड़ा है पॉपुलर इंडिया में तो बिल्कुल भी नहीं है हाँ जी इसका माइक्रोसॉफ्ट है नेटवर्क इज एक्चुअली दिस विल कम टू नेटवर्क और व्हाट और चैनल व्हिच बिंग हो गया अपना हां बिंग सर्च इंजन है और बिंग का अपना बिंग का अपना नेटवर्क भी है नेटवर्क ऑफ वेबसाइट्स जो बिंग के ही एडसेंस वाले टाइप में जाएंगे गूगल का अपना नेटवर्क कैसे बनता है तब बनता है ना जब वेबसाइट्स उसे अप्रोच करती है गूगल एडसेंस के थ्रू जिन्हें अपना स्पेस रेंट आउट देने देने का मन करता है और कहते हैं कि हमें अपना पैसा अंदर 
सिमिलरली बैंक का भी अपना नेटवर्क है गूगल का भी अपना नेटवर्क है एक आपको इन्फो लिंक्स दिखाया था सिमिलरली बहुत सारे एड नेटवर्क है इफ यूल टाइप इन गूगल लिस्ट ऑफ एड नेटवर्क फाइंड मेनी वेबसाइट विच आर डूइंग दिस वर्क विच देर मेनी कंपनीज विच आर वॉट एड नेटवर्क वो फिर उनका सर्च इंजन नहीं है वो सिर्फ और सिर्फ अपने डिस्प्ले नेटवर्क पे वर्क करते हैं एक तो हो गया सर्च नेटवर्क हो गया डिस्प्ले नेटवर्क जो मैंने इन्फोलिंक्स आपको दिखाया था वो डिस्प्ले नेटवर्क है सबसे बड़ा नेटवर्क गूगल का है आप पता ही गूगल तो बाप है सबका सो दे बिगेस्ट नेटवर्क इन दैट्स वाई वर्क ऑन दैट प्राइसिस भी गूगल के सबसे ज्यादा है पर क्लिक पे तो गूगल अपना शेयर भी ज्यादा लेता है वैसे भी पर क्लिक ज्यादा करता है बट फिर खैर सर्विसेस भी देता है गूगल अकाउंट टू गेट अक्रॉस ब्लॉग बेसिकली सेम इट्स गूगल प्रॉपर्टी गूगल का है ठीक है ये इसका चैनल आई इसका लोगो है एंड आई कैन क्रिएट अक्रॉस अ न्यू ब्लॉग right from here i can put in my blog name whatever i want to do that and my blog address so let's say adwords training now dot blogspot wo hamesha aayega iske sath ye to by default aa nahi hai ab ye keh raha hai ki this blog address is not available it's been taken by someone isme kuch change karke dekhta hu this is available i can take this all right then comes in certain themes which i can go with which obviously mere ko chahiye in terms of look and feel and then click on to create blog and so forth now you can create multiple blogs write content on them and, and all that stuff and i think we can अगर वो एनेबल कर देता है एडसेंस का आपकी एप्लीकेशन एनेबल हो जाती है एक्सेप्ट हो जाती है तो आप अपने ब्लॉग पे कंटेंट वगैरह सब कुछ दो दूसरे एडवर्टाइजर्स के एड दिखेंगे क्योंकि आपने एडसेंस इस पर इंप्लीमेंट कर दिया तो यहां से सीधा भी हो जाता है वैसे एडसेंस का अप्लाई अर्निंग्स में जाके अर्निंग्स पे जाओगे यही से सीधा नाउ यू कैन सी इट सेज हाउ टू क्वालिफाई फॉर एडसेंस इट सेज एडसेंस इज अ फ्री सिंपल वे टू अर्न मनी बाय प्लेसिंग एड्स ऑन योर वेबसाइट और ब्लॉग आल्सो इट मींस द सेम और इवन योर वीडियोस आल्सो आपके पास कोई भी प्रॉपर्टी होनी चाहिए वेबसाइट हो ब्लॉग हो या वीडियोस हो उसके ऊपर ट्रैफिक आना चाहिए उसको मॉनिटाइज कर सकते हो आप एड राइट लर्न हाउ टू बिकम एलिजिबल इन सो फोर्थ Anything else before we wrap up? Or it's not enough. Okay, sign up. Ah, uh, sign up. Do or sign up. If you use that AdWords account, use Gmail ID. Do it. Just say AdWords. Made. Just make AdWords account. Made. Okay.
इसमें मुझे वो हटाना पड़ेगा आई हाँ तो ठीक है लेट्स रैप अप देन एनी अदर क्वेश्चन ठीक है लेट्स मीट नेक्स्ट सैटरडे सेम टाइम एंड वील स्टार्ट विथ मोबाइल मार्केटिंग देन